Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I got my eyelashes lifted and I'm gonna show you how it's done. If you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe below, I know you want to, to stay updated with future videos. As most of you may know, I have really straight short lashes and I really can't be bothered curling them every day, putting a lot of mascara on, so I usually opt for lashes. But since getting a lash perm, it's like changed my life completely. And it's actually like, it's just so amazing. Right now I just have mascara on, I don't have any lashes on, I didn't have to curl my lashes, and they stay upright all day. So I'm super excited to talk to you guys about my experience with lash lifting. Five days ago, I went to visit Lash Blossom in Sydney. Now, I've been to this salon before to get my eyelash extensions done. They did like crazy 6D eyelash extensions, and I have a video on that, so if you haven't seen it already, make sure you check it out. So I went there this time to get a lash lift because Lynn, the owner, she was recommending me to get it, to try it, because I've never got one before. So basically, if you don't know what a lash lift is, it's a more advanced lash perm. Back in the days when you get a lash perm, they would use these like sticky, uncomfortable rods that would really hurt when they take it off and the lashes don't look as amazing but nowadays they have a silicon pad which they apply onto the eyes to help lift it up naturally giving it like a natural curl not like over curled which would happen sometimes when you get a lash perm back in the days lash lifts generally last anywhere from six to eight weeks before your natural lashes relax back to their natural state the price of it really ranges but lash blossom charges nine dollars for a lash lift when I got to Lash Blossom, a lovely lady named Coco did my lash lift. First, she just protected my lower lashes using eye pads. And then she selected the medium silicon pads for my lashes. The silicon pads come in different sizes. So if you have smaller lashes or shorter lashes, they use a smaller pad. If you have longer lashes, a bigger size is used. The next step, she applied a bonding liquid to help adhere my lashes to the pad. She applied the liquid onto the pad and all over my eyelashes. She used a really fine toothpick to lift my lashes upwards so the lashes are pointing straight up to my brows. It's really important that she makes sure all the lashes are gripped onto the pad. Next, she uses the toothpick to space them out evenly and make sure that they're not clumping together. I would say this part took the longest out of the whole treatment. Once my right eye was done, she moved on to my left eye. The whole process is not uncomfortable, it's really relaxing, it's not painful whatsoever. I honestly could have fallen asleep. On my left eye, she did the same steps and applied the bonding liquid to help my lashes adhere to the silicon pad. She then made sure each one was lifted up and evenly spaced. I feel like if you were to do this on someone else, you would need super steady hands. Especially when you're working with an eye area and trying to get all those lashes spaced out neatly. It's funny because Alfred was actually the one filming this and he was just like, whoa, what is going on? It looks so scary. But I promise you, if you're getting it done, it doesn't hurt or anything. It's not scary at all. It's kind of like when someone's playing with your hair. It's kind of relaxing. Once she was happy with the shape and position of my lashes, she applied a perming solution on top. This was left on my lashes for about 9 minutes. If you have super thick lashes, you might have to leave it on for a bit longer. The perming solution literally smelt like a hair perming solution. You know when you go to the hair salons and ladies get their hair permed? That smell is exactly that same smell as this perm solution. In saying that, it didn't sting my eyes or anything. I could just smell that perming solution. Notice how close she applies the perming solution onto the roots of the lashes. If I was doing this on someone, they for sure would go blind.
After 9 minutes, she took the solution off. First, she used the toothpick to scrape the solution off and then went back in with a cotton tip to just make sure all of that solution is gone. Next, she applied a neutralizer solution. This helps to stop the perming process and also help to condition the lashes. The neutralizer was left on for another 9 minutes. After 9 minutes, the neutralizing solution was removed. Coco then used a white cotton pad to lift up my lashes from the silicon pad. Surprisingly, it came off really easily. There was no pain whatsoever. After that, I got my lashes tinted. She used a blue-black tint on my lashes, both my top and bottom lashes. This took about 10 minutes to do. Now it looks really scary when she removes the tint because the colour goes red and it looks like my eye is bleeding but I promise you it wasn't. It was just the tint colour on the pad. The tint was then removed and she flushed my eye out with some water. Finally, she gave my lashes a quick brush with a disposable mascara wand and that was pretty much it. My lashes were lifted. What do you think of it? I'll flash up a before and after photo so you guys can see the difference. Even though I have tiny lashes, the lash lift did really open up my eyes and you can see a big difference there. I also want to show you what my lashes look like when I have eyeshadow on without mascara and what it looks like when I put mascara on. As you can see, it makes a really big difference when I put mascara on. You can see that my eyes appear more open and it makes my eyes look bigger, more awake and I absolutely love it. So that's pretty much how it went. What do you guys think? Do you guys like my newly lifted lashes? I actually really love it. And if I was to rate this out of 10, it would be a 10 out of 10 baby. It's like amazing. It's changed my life. I will never go back to like using my eyelash curler. It's the bomb. It's so good. I would highly recommend it to all of you, especially because I really thought you can't really do much with my natural lashes and curling them and even applying heat to my eyelash curler. Sometimes they don't even last all day and I always have to opt for waterproof mascara to try to hold that curl. But now I don't have that problem anymore and it's literally changed my life. Mm -hmm. Let me know what you would rate this and would you get this yourself or have you got it done yourself and do you like it? That's it for today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I thought it'd be kind of different for a Tina try is it to try more of like a service rather than a product so if there's any beauty services out there that you're thinking about getting or you're interested in like learning more about it and you want me to try it please list them below it can be procedures like you know that Kim Kardashian vampire facial she posted a photo of it ages ago or like eyebrow tattooing I don't know things like that let me know what you're interested in and I'll try to create a video for that Make sure you click subscribe if you haven't already and please like this video if you enjoyed it. I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.